Welcome to the Daily Coffee Pro by Map It Forward, friends. I'm your host, Lee Safar, and today on the podcast, we are talking about growth planning in our third episode of a seven part series on the what we are advising clients on right now in this challenging time in the coffee industry. Growth planning is made up of two things, customer acquisition planning, so new customers and return customers. So let's take a look at that. You ready? Let's do it. This podcast is brought to you by Mapper Forward's new Patreon community, the Global Coffee Think Tank. Check the show notes or head to patreon.com forward slash Mapper Forward to find out how you can become a member today. Okay, so longtime listeners of this podcast will be sick of me talking about customer acquisition planning, but it's important because if you are going to really focus on a growth plan for your business, you've got to have a strategy for how to get new customers and how to retarget your current customers so they become return customers. Anyone who has put in a e-commerce store uh, revenue stream in their business understands the importance and the very uh, real challenge of getting customers to actually buy for the first time. But it's almost easier to get someone to buy for the first time than it is to get them to buy again and again and again. When somebody comes into your store and they buy a cappuccino, if they like the cappuccino, You'll become their regular and then it's really easy to get them to continue coming back because it becomes a part of their daily habit. Buying roasted coffee every month or buying merch off your web store, whatever it is, is a very difficult, often very expensive endeavor. The way that you put together your customer acquisition plan the plan that you have to acquire new customers is a very important piece of your business puzzle. And so I know that there's this kind of belief out there of in the coffee industry of I'll build it and they will come. I'm sorry, but it's horseshit. You have to put an, an ongoing effort into bringing new customers into your business and retargeting your customers so that they become regular customers. So an example of that would be selling a customer a subscription service to your roasted coffee. That's how you would have a regular repeat business. But establishing that and especially in the very competitive market that we have at the moment, um, around the world in coffee, that is going to become more and more challenging. Uh, What we're seeing at the moment with regards to retargeting for cafes, in a number of different countries around the world, we are starting to see a couple of years into a pandemic, coming into our third year into the pandemic, more and more cafes are closing. And they're closing because under the strain of all the saturation that exists, they can no longer compete. I don't necessarily think that this is a bad thing. Uh, What I do think, let me say something else. Uh, While I don't necessarily think this is a bad thing, it still breaks my heart every time I hear of a business close because that's uh, dreams shattered, that's people who lose their jobs, that's customers who lose their favorite cafe, that's a cascading effect of a supply chain that ends up losing customer after customer after customer. So it's never a great thing. But I do believe that a lot of businesses around the world are experiencing uh, the, the flow and effects of saturation in markets. And the only way that we can help that is to reduce the number of businesses that are there. If you are experiencing, if you are, if you are existing as a business within a market where there are cafes closing down, there is an opportunity there for you to r- create a customer acquisition plan that targets uh, a business that's failed customers. Being strategic about the way that you do that and being creative about the way that you do that is going to be important. One challenge that I do want to alert you to in doing that, you'll hear a lot of business consultants say, 
just use social media to target uh, f- geographically, target the people in your local area. And that's definitely a way that used to be a great marketing tool to help people target uh, locals. The issue is though, in April last year, Apple uh, enabled a function on phones that people could just turn off. And what it did was it stopped any data and any cookies being sent back to the apps that you were using, which means and you will have noticed this if you use things like Instagram. You'll notice that the – and you've turned to this thing uh, if you've enabled this. What you will notice is that you get random ads that mean nothing to you. And the reason that's happening is because the algorithms don't know how to target you. And so what that means for businesses is that it gets more and more expensive – to try and target the right people based on geography or based on their interests because the platforms, the algorithms that you, that the platforms use to know to target to you just simply aren't, they're not working uh, in the way that they used to. So you've got to get more creative in the way that you build your customer acquisition plans and how you Increase the quality of the leads so that you can convert them to sales. If this is something that is difficult for you to understand or difficult for you to get your head around, this is something that we kind of specialize in. We have a, um, we have a template uh, that we use for every customer um, and we help them identify customer personas and then what problems they're solving and help them understand how to connect the problems they're solving with the customers that they're looking to engage with. And it seems to be working really, really well for all of our clients, which is awesome. So these are the two things that your growth plan needs to be focused on. As a lot of moving pieces are happening in the coffee industry, you may have to pivot in different directions for your business. And if that's the case, how is your business from a growth perspective going to pivot alongside that? How are you going to be more deliberate about acquiring new customers? And how are you going to be more deliberate about retargeting your current customers so that you can bring them on board to become regulars, whether it be through your e-commerce or your in-store sales. Very important things to think about. I hope that this has been helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe and share this information with your friends if you think that this is relevant to them. Peace, love and peanut butter friends. Have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks friends. If you enjoyed this video, here's what you should check out next. Consider supporting Mapper Forward on Patreon and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell before you leave.